ASMR, or Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, is a physical euphoria many people experience as a tingling sensation akin to a mild electrical current on the skin. The most common stimuli include listening to a softly spoken voice or tapping fingernails on a surface. The first ever YouTube ASMR video was published by user Whispering Life in 2009. Since then, the ASMR community has exploded, causing millions to have eargasms on a daily basis. My name's Anthony Padilla, and today I'm going to be sitting down with ASM artists to find out the truth behind the phenomenon known as Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Why do so many people flock to these ASMR videos to trigger a deep-rooted sense of euphoria? Do these ASM artists genuinely enjoy what they do, or are they just cashing in on a short-lived fad? Is ASMR nothing more than an innocent relaxation technique, or does it fill a void for those who have no means to experience joy? on their own. Hey, Maddie. What's up, man? My name is Maddie. Good to meet you. Hey, Pokey. Hey. A-S-M-R. Hello. Hello. My name is GB. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for coming out and teaching me about the wondrous world of ASMR. What do you consider yourself? ASMR YouTuber, mm. ASM artist? Yeah, ASM artist to me just rolls off the tongue the best. Content creator. Content creator. I crea mainly do like video game content, live streams, YouTube videos, yeah. and then ASMR is like part of that. ASM artist is kind of the cool way to say it so we sound cool. Yeah, I mean, it sounds cool <laughs> to me. I'm like, yo, this guy's an artist. Yeah. When someone asks you to describe what you do on your ASMR channel, what do you say? So I always say I, I make videos that try to induce uh, relaxation. It's a relaxing video. You just say go. relaxing video. Yeah, no, well, they're relaxing videos, and they're like, yeah. okay. So if someone kind of knows about ASMR, I yeah. generally just tell them like what types of ASMR I do. If they don't know at all, then yeah. I, I try to explain ASMR in general. What do you say? I'll literally just say anything that sounds or looks a way that makes you feel good. Yeah. How long have you been doing ASMR? I think about two years. Been doing ASMR a little over two years now with the channel. My channel's three years old, like on the nose. And what was your first experience with ASMR? It, it goes back really far, like as a kid, mm -hmm. except for we just didn't know this medical term ASMR There was for no it. word for yeah. it. Yeah. So it was like, I remember getting my hair cut uh -huh. and like when they were doing the back and stuff and like getting like a chill. You know that thing that they do where they're like, crack the egg exactly. on the head and it yes. goes down the back. Crack an egg on your head, let the yolk drip down, let the yolk drip down. Exactly. So I found w the whisper community, uh -huh. which was just people whispering because someone was like, does anyone else like it? Like hearing other people whisper. And so other people were like, yeah, I do too. So was that what it was called that, before? It was, it was the called the ASMR community. Yeah. community? The whisper community. The whisper community. Headed by yeah, yeah, you is. Uh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever walked in on you doing ASMR? My fiance and my family, they all, everyone knows that I do it. Uh huh. So they're always like, they help me. You know, oh, okay. I'm like, all right, I'm filming. They're like, okay. Shut up. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. it has Don't to be move. silent Dead in your silent. house. Dead silent. I live in like basically like a gamer frat house. Like we're all just gamer content creators, live streamers in one so house. So people are around you all the time. The amount of times I've had to edit my ASMR videos and all I edit out is like someone raging at their PC. <laughs> so like countless times. What kinds of sensations do you get when listening to ASMR? Oh, I get so many tingles. I'm like, you that's get the, the tingles? thing. I feel like I talk and I listen to what I'm doing at the same yeah. time. And I'm like, oh, that gave me a lot of tingles. And then I'll like, explore that almost like like pleasant static yeah, yeah, yeah. in your head it like goes down like, your spine and like your limbs like whatever what do your parents think about your asmr channel i don't know if they really understand <laughs> i sort of had to tell them what it was and again they were confused of course um but now my mom is like my biggest fan does she watch every video you every post? every single video and reads all the comments i don't think they've ever watched a video of mine. they've never watched a video of yours honestly making asmr seems like a very intimate personal vulnerable experience do you ever get embarrassed by doing it i would say my first 10 because it's we it, it's like if this is the camera and i'm like act i'm like pretending that i'm saying something and then yeah. pretending a conversation in my head sometimes i was like man what am i doing like <laughs> what is happening right now i shot a video probably five years ago and it didn't even make it to my computer oh really i like watched it back on the video <laughs> camera and i was like i can't do this i like deleted it i was so embarrassed has doing asmr ever affected any of your relationships no uh one yeah maybe i don't know <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's hard to explain sometimes, yeah. especially when you need like, okay, I need two hours to go sit in a room and be completely quiet and yeah. film. When I was in a senior in college, that's uh -huh. when I started my channel. Yeah. I started staying in when all my roommates went out uh -huh. to like party and yeah. stuff because I was like, this is the only time it's going to be quiet. <laughs> so you gave up a social life in order mm. to do ASMR. I did. Do fans ever get freaked out when they hear your normal speaking voice? Last year at VidCon, almost every person that I met, they're like, yeah. whoa, you have a normal voice. It's seriously what they would say every time. Can you show us what people expect your voice to sound like? Yeah, so this is what I normally sound like to them. Or I do like a soft-spoken one where it's like, yeah, so this is what I normally sound like. So when they meet me and I'm like, hey! The Whoa, you can speak over a, a two decibels. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm an actual human. Why do you think so many people consider ASMR to be creepy? If you don't know what it is, yeah. and you click on a guy dressed as Russell talking to you, <laughs> whispering to you, whispering to you <laughs> you'd be like, oh, this is really weird. Yeah. If it makes you feel uncomfortable that someone's whispering in your ear, watching a video of somebody whispering in your ear is going to make you uncomfortable. ASMR almost feels therapeutic. Yes. Do you ever get fans treating you like you therapized them? I've had people come up to me and they're like, I'm a veteran and I have PTSD and your ASMR videos like help me fall asleep. And I'm like, Whoa. yeah. I don't understand to that extent, but I also know like ASMR was something that I used when I was going through a rough time because yeah. when do you need something to calm you the most? When you're not feeling very well, you mm -hmm. know? Or when you really need something to help you fall asleep. Mm -hmm. That's typically not people who are like, leading already satisfying, calming lives, right? They'll say crazy, like, oh, you, you stopped me from doing thing, really bad things. Really? Or, uh, like, you got me through a breakup, or my parents died, and so that kind of stuff is really wow. amazing. But at the same time, like, we're totally not there. Right. The right. amount of, like, messages and, and, and things that people tell me is, like, it's very, very, very humbling. I'm like, listen, I'm just, you know, I'm just me making videos. Yeah, yeah. Um, but people are saying, you know, like, this helped me with anxiety, depression, PTSD. Like, I'm a new mom, I can't sleep. Like, yeah. I have autism and I use your videos to practice eye contact. And I'm just like, I couldn't wow. imagine. I never imagined that. No, how many uses, like, these yeah. long form, very, like, friendly videos, yeah. relaxing, calm videos can have. How has doing ASMR changed your life? ASMR has literally become my life. It is your life. Yeah, I love it. I feel so passionate about it because of, of the feedback I've gotten and, and you know how many people like have told me that they rely on like my videos yeah, or yeah. just like videos in, in general. So mm -hmm. I, I feel very invested in the community. I've made so many friends through it. Mm -hmm. So it literally is my life now. What's your personal favorite sound to hear in ASMR? I really like when people are talking. Like, I don't really like when it's just sounds. Yeah. Some people, they can't stand talking. It's a tie for me right now between tapping on, um, like, a phone screen. Yeah. Or... Yeah. That's it right there. Because it's like, it's like a soft noise, but it's also on glass. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it. It also feeds into my addiction of having this in my hand at all times. <laughs> exactly. I really like, like the role play ASMRs. We're like, basically what you're hearing is the audio of like you coming into a salon. They're like, oh, hey, like, do you have an appointment? Like, Whoa. Oh, you don't know. I don't know about this section. Really? Let oh. me hear about this. Oh, it's let's get into it. It's like, it's just like, <laughs> it's just like, like a microphone set up basically in a spa. It's literally like an experience in a video in relaxing format. So like what you see is like the visual, like a secretary or something. Yeah. I'm like, oh, oh, you're here. Like, oh, what's your name? Do you have an appointment? They're talking to you. They pause to hear your response and they continue. What's been the most outlandish role play that you've ever done for ASMR? Like way back in the day for my 300th, 300,000 subscribers, I think, yeah. I did a 300 themed video. So I was like Queen Gorgo. Hello, young Spartan. Oh, nice. You know, like, I'll do like all the video game characters. I did like Mercy from Overwatch. I did like Chloe from Life is Strange. I did yeah. Daenerys from Game of Thrones. Like all those characters are really fun. Have you ever performed ASMR live? Yes, T-Pain. T-Pain asked you to do that? To Sort of, yeah. I don't even remember if it was me, but I know T-Pain came into my room and he like did ASMR with my mic. I saw and that And he video. like, yeah, he like rubbed his beard on the On <laughs> the mic. <laughs> Do you think there's enough appreciation for the ASMR community? In the beginning, everyone was just questioning 
oh, is this a sex thing? Is this sexual? Is this a fetish? Is right. this a whatever? Yeah. And so like so many people in the community have been like, no, nope, no, it's not. That like, it doesn't really get asked anymore. Would you be willing to perform ASMR live right now with me? So I think the nicest part about ASMR is when you can see the sound, like specifically, and then sometimes talking about what you're doing can be very relaxing as well. I feel like there are fairies flying around my body. Mm. This is why we don't do live days. I promised myself I would not have an eargasm today. Oh, okay. See? See? I feel hey. like you are like doing things to my body. I mean, <laughs> I'm just realizing a little bit about myself, and that is that I'm gonna need to just admit that I like. ASMR. I have to admit it. I understand it's weird to be like, I really like role play ASMR where someone like, talk, yeah. you know, like yeah, it's weird yeah. to say, but yeah. genuinely listening to it, it's so comforting. It's so relaxing. Yeah. By the way, I've done an in-person ASMR experience, like actually. Is that a thing that happens mm -hmm. in LA or what? I think it's, uh, I think it's called Whisper Lodge. Yeah. And yeah, you just like book a time slot, you go in and each person um, at the beginning, beginning like has an ASMR artist like yeah. doing stuff to them. Yeah. And then you go to different like stations in this house where you're blindfolded for half the time. I know. You think I should experience that? Yes. If this video gets over 150,000 <laughs> likes, mm -hmm. I will try my best to experience that and document it for you. Heck yeah. Do you ever have to cut out strange bodily noises? For sure. From oh your yeah. audio? Yeah, oh what, yeah. What kinds of sounds? I cuss a lot when I mess up. <laughs> <laughs> a month ago or so, I forgot to cut out one thing. Where you cussed? Where yeah. You so I literally, I was in front of a green screen, I was filming, yeah. and I messed up what I was gonna say, and I went, and then I completely forgot to cut it out. And there was like 8,000 comments of like, oh my God, he cussed. I'm not gonna do it on purpose yeah, again, yeah. but like it, it, the video did well. Laura wants to know if you've ever thought about randomly screaming in the middle of your ASMR. It's like uh, asking a doctor, like if they ever want to punch a patient in the head. And the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you think, for sure. You uh, this year, I definitely, uh, on April Fool's this year, Yeah. I did like a, th most of my videos are like 30 to 40 minutes. Yeah. I did like a three minute video and put it up. Uh -huh. And I started, I was like, yeah. And then I had two air horns <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> like this. And I went, yeah. And I lost like 9,000 subs. That you day. lost 9,000 yeah. yeah. subscribers. It was, it was a ridiculous amount of subs from that. Cause wow, like, I think people, people do not trust... pull around. No, 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 they, they did not like that. <laughs> Maritza TV wants to know what the strangest request is that you've ever received for ASMR. Oh my God, I get people asking me to do kissing ASMR all the time. Kissing ASMR? What's kissing ASMR? Just the sounds? Yes. Like two camera or just the sounds? Two camera and the sounds. So you're like, two camera? Yeah, like it's a mic. It's like literally like you're giving the experience of kissing people. So they want to feel like you're getting, they're getting yeah. kissed by you. Would you mind giving me a, a demonstration and teaching me how to do ASMR? Sure, sure. The first thing is, is uh, the most common thing is whispering, right? Um, you would say, so I'm on your right side right now. This is the right side, the right side, the right side. Moving over, this is the left side, the left side, the left side. Hey, I'm whispering in your right ear. Now I'm coming over here and I'm whispering like your ears being infiltrated by my voice against your permission. Okay, so if you want to try out different triggers. Sure. Here's one. So, okay. like a cork makes really nice sounds because it's not so loud, but you can like okay. tap on it. Okay. You're scared. Oh, we can go all out. It sounds like many little creatures running on the grass on a beautiful summer day.
I have a famous scene from a movie here, and I'd like you to dub over it with your ASMR tone. Okay. Cool. Here's the line you'll be reading. Three, two, one. A hero like you. You're a laboratory experiment, Rogers. Everything special about you came out of a bottle. <laughs> You got five seconds to promote anything you want directly into camera, go. You can follow me at GBASMR on YouTube or on Instagram and Twitter at GB Official. Twitter, Instagram, at Maddie Tingles, and of course, YouTube, Maddie Tingles. Just look up P-O-K-I-M-A-N-E -E and whatever else you want to find and drink some water. Thank you so much, Thanks Pokey. Thanks for having me. Of course, I feel like I fully understand the yeah. wondrous world of ASMR. I hope so, this is actually really, really fun. After spending the day with these ASMR artists, I've learned that they simply provide a service for people to experience pleasurable sensations outside of normal day-to-day -day stimulants. If listening to the sounds of an ASM artist brings someone happiness, who are we to ever consider judging them for it? See you later, bye guys. Press a like. I have not like tooted while recording or anything <laughs> yet. I won't even lie, if I did, like I tell you guys. I mean, girls don't toot in general. No, but no. <laughs> if there's some kind of anomaly where it <laughs> Yeah, surgically they get it uh, sewed up. Yeah. Sewed shut. Buttholes are for decoration when it comes to girls. Mm -hmm. like, that's it. Nothing actually happens mm -hmm. there. Weird. Okay, sorry. <laughs> what was that tangent? But yeah.